Uh, hello guys, uh, in this video we'll solve a linked list problem uh, and our task will be remove a given element from a linked list and this uh, problem is one of the most uh, one of the most popular linked list problems it is a no, uh, in the, it's in the first place uh, uh, yeah I already solved it but I want to give uh, some explanation how you can solve it by by your own uh, before we start let's just check what is linked list and basically uh, we have a list of nodes and they are related uh, linked to each other so uh, for example we have head node uh, it is related to the next one which is two and it is related to the next one and next one and next one and basically to get to from head to the for example uh, this node we, we will need to go uh, to traverse uh, through our head head node then next uh, to the second node and then next to the third node and finally we will get to the R node and we can just uh, see an example an animation of this so basically we will start with the head then we will move to the next next and finally yeah we get to our node and now with our this uh, uh, example of this problem we will need to re uh, remove a given number from our linked list uh, we can have a few of them so it's not only one uh, we will need to remove all of them so let's start uh, I will start with a simple solution and then we will add some additional uh, stuff to our uh, to our uh, solution uh, first of all, of course, uh, because we have linked list, I will have a while loop uh, saying that while we have a current node, which will be at the beginning our head, I say that if we have our current node, that means that it's, if it's not none, not none, uh, check if it is value is equal to the given value, and then we will have logic to remove this node. Uh, and else, yeah, if it's not equal, uh, yeah, it's not else, but just uh, and to continue for searching, we will say that the current will be current.next. Uh, and by removing, let's see uh, how we can remove an element from linked list. So basically, by linked list, we have a um, structure like this we have one, then two, uh, it can be, for example, as a value of five. And uh, let's add one more for uh, demo, uh, let's say seven. And let's say that we want to remove this node. And for this, to keep our uh, list consistent, so to not break our links, we will need to link our uh, previous node. That's a key point. So we will need to keep our previous point uh, uh, node and we will need to link it to our next node so basically to remove two uh, we need to first link our previous node to the next node and then we can say that okay you can now remove this link uh, and let's do it in our code uh, so basically uh, for this we need to keep our previous node will be none at the beginning uh, with each step uh, we will uh, update our previous node. So let's just imagine that we will not get uh, uh, our first node. Uh, so given value will be in our uh, second and next nodes. So um, and now we can say that if a value is equal to the given value, we need to update our previous values uh, nodes next to current nodes next. So basically, I'm saying that if two is a, is a given value. Uh, set set uh, next node of our previous to the ne uh, to our next node. So basically, this will be uh, connected to the next. So we are saying that take this relation and put it here. So basically, that's our yeah, what we do. Uh, and now uh, we can remove this for now. And at the end, return our current head. Turn our current head. Uh, and yeah, this is our first version. Let's just check it.
yeah sure because we don't have any previous value uh, if it is not we need to update our previous node for now let's put like this uh, we need we will need to update this but for now we see that for for the first given input it works properly because expected is one two three four five and we get one two three four five but there is a problem with the solution and the problem is when we have a given value in our head so it is a first value in the linked list uh, we will need to update our uh, reference for head and with this approach we cannot do it because uh, we start with uh, previous none and for this we can do like this so we say that previous is head and next is okay, so current is uh, head.next but in this case we will skip test for head and that's why we can add another loop because we can have uh, an example uh, let's just yeah I want to open this part. Let's say that we have an example uh, when we have six and then another six. So uh, if we will remove this, then we will have uh, again another six as a head. So we will need to remove this one as well. So it, it also needs to be in a loop uh, six. Uh, so uh, and because of this, uh, we will need to have a while loop saying that if while we have head and head's value is equal to given value update our head uh, heads next so it will be pointed here and heads next but head will be pointed to our next so basically we are saying that when it is six uh, make next item in our linked list as a head so we will lose uh, a reference to this one and after this we have to put uh, one more check that if we don't have head so head is none because let's say that we have a case when we have um, for example one 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 and given value is one so we will remove all of them and after this we will have empty list so we need to check that if our head is none return an empty list for example yeah yeah that should work and with this case we also need to think about our previous uh, not because in this case we have an uh, error because if uh, value uh, uh, we find the current node uh, and it is equal to value given value uh, we don't need to update our previous node so basically if we see that uh, 2 is our given value uh, and remove it for 5 uh, 1 will be a, uh, still previous node so when we see that um, uh, when we found our given value we will not update our previous one we will update it only if it is if there is no uh, found uh, value so basically uh, when we see that for example if we are uh, well, let's just put a proper example okay yeah uh, let's have one more and let's make it two let's remove this dependency here and put it like this Uh, and uh, and now yeah let's say that we are looking for item 2 so first it's not 2 second it is 2 we will remove it and keep our previous value and connect this to this uh, then it is 5 and for 5 it's not 2 it's not equal to 2 uh, and in, a, in this case when we, we move forward we need to make 5 our previous value so basically that's what I am doing here so if we, uh, in else case we need to update our previous value and in any case we need to update our current uh, node so that's basically should be our solution let's check with, with our new test cases uh, okay so previous next okay now let's check what it says uh, in our solution 21 uh, attribute object has no attribute next if yeah if not head so uh yeah we missed not here because if there is head we need to continue if there is not head we need to uh, exit so now let's check so now that's our proper case uh we see that we match all expected case 
Uh, as I said, I already solved this one, but I will just submit to check that, yeah, uh, it works. Uh, let's do it one more time. Yeah. And yeah, usually uh, with lead code, you need to uh, run it a few times to get proper runtime. And our solution is faster than 99% of other solutions. Of course, we can still improve it. And, and now uh, let's see animation of what we did. So basically we can test it here. Uh, remove, uh, let's remove a number six. This entry value number. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, this example works by index number, so it's not by uh, value of node, by uh, position of the node. So let, in any case, let's just see animation how it works. So it will uh, traverse through uh, our list and then update our link. So that's basically what we did. Uh, let's create one more, uh, one more random list maybe with more items, yeah. And try removing again. Uh, let's remove again, uh, number five, for example. Okay. So it will search, it will search, and when it find uh, our value, it will update uh, links, and then that's it. Uh, yeah, that was solution for our linked list, removing item from linked list. Uh, as I said, yeah, we can check discussions and see for Python. Um, solution probably will be the same. But yeah, let's see. Let's see. Yeah, it's almost the same. On this problem, yeah. yeah. We don't have this, but yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, uh, it should be okay with our solution. Uh, thank you for watching, please like and subscribe if you liked and see you in our next interview question, bye bye.